people that come through Naropa, I feel like, have such a settled sense of who they are, and then their true passion is able to come out. Not what they think uh, the world needs. Oh, the world needs a biologist, the world needs a scientist, the world needs a this, but really, what, what's in me? What's good in me that can then be contributing to the world? Some of my classmates, they've gone on to, to teach. Uh, some have gone on to help form nonprofits. And some have gone on to do trail maintenance. Some of them have started their own mindful businesses. There is such a misperception as to what a mindfulness education can prepare you for. You know, I don't have to open a yoga studio. I don't have to, um, you know, do the quote unquote Eastern teachings. Like, nope, jump right into the Western business world. Um, but do it, you know, with, with the, in my opinion, a slight advantage um, because I'm showing up fully. Being in Boulder has seemed like a natural, uh, no pun intended, to work with organics. So we, so I started Boulder's Best Organics. Everything is local, everything was organic, and I really did it as an experiment to see uh, how I could how I could manifest um, this environmental leadership in the business world. And uh, it worked. So I grew it for about three years and then successfully sold it just a couple of months ago and um, contradicted the expectations of pretty much everybody I've met. Uh, you can never start a company and sell it in three years. It's going to not even be profitable for three years. Uh, we were profitable in the first year. We were named by the local business magazine as the second fastest growing company in all of Boulder County. It was a simple idea that had some good vision that I really attributed a lot of that to Naropa. It helped me um, become a fuller me. It took who I was and I, I dropped a lot of the fear, I dropped a lot of the inhibition, I dropped a lot of the hesitation um, so that I could just be shine through as myself um, without having to play small. It gives people permission to do what maybe their heart's telling them to do, but out there, you know, in a lot of places, it gets shut down. Naropa is like this, it's, it's the safe zone. One of the fundamental learnings at Naropa is fearlessness. Uh, warriorship. Uh, it, yeah, not warriorship in the sense that I'm going to go out there and I'm going to conquer and destroy, but I'm going to go out there vulnerable and say what I got to say, uh, even if it makes me uncomfortable. I'm not going to let my own discomfort um, stop me, prevent me from speaking truth. Uh, it's not going to stop me from um, uh, shaking things up, if that's what needs to be done. And I'm not going to ever go back uh, after an event and say, I should have said this, or I should have said that. It gives it, the, the fearlessness um, and the mindfulness, I think, go hand in hand because in the moment you know what to say, but do you have the guts to say it? And I think the, um, that uh, the warriorship gives you the guts to, to speak, the, speak your truth in the moment, but I think that's the warriorship to step up and say, here's what the moment calls for. Uh, whether, you know, whatever kind of business or whatever kind of practice or whatever kind of job a person may take, um, the world is so desperately in need of awake people. Um, I think we're so sleep, so many people are just kind of um, awake in their secret private time. And uh, I think a neuro education invites people to be more fully awake.